everyone and welcome back to Farmville 2! We are here with our adorable little avatar. Hello, it's us! Hi, us! Oh, look at her. She's warming up her little hands with her cute little gloves. Oh my goodness. But we are here with our adorable little avatar on our beautiful Farmville 2 farm. And oh my gosh, it has been a busy, busy week. So, if you guys recall, we went ahead and we managed to get an otter last time, and we managed to get all of these adorable, cute little paper boats. Oh, look, look, look! And our rock is ready to clear, and it's Molly! So, Henny, thank you so much for being our axe grinder, Simon being our crack chiseler, and Molly, you are pulling double time being our mineral talmentrist and our masonic stoner. So, we're gonna be able to get this big old river rock out of here, which is so exciting. Alright, the whole crew is hard at work. Chisel, chisel. Push, push, push. All right, we got it. Yay. We have more room for aquatic plants now, which is no doubt going to make a lot of our little aquatic animals happy. Like this little guy right over here. Here's our little white southern river otter. Little guy. Little guy, why don't you get on your, get on your little slide. Show everybody how cute you are on your little slide. You're swimming around it. Come on, get on the slide. Oh, <gasps> he's going to get on the slide, you guys. Oh, here he goes. Are you guys ready for this cuteness? Oh yeah, that's adorable. I love it. I love the otter slide. So good news, we should have more cuteness today because after weeks, weeks of working almost non-stop on our kitten adoption quest, look at this! We are five points, just five measly points away from being able to adopt our kitten. So it is finally time, you guys. We have rushed down the kitten race. We have managed to get to the end. We are just one step away from crossing over the threshold all we have to do is go ahead and we're gonna finish making these kitten yum yum treats um, yeah that'll do it we'll finish making the kitten yum yum treats and then we will be able to adopt our kitten so today is kitten adoption day Huzzah! but let's begin by going ahead and clearing out our fields in preparation after we adopt our little itty bitty cute kitten we're going to need to do some work here uh oh did I make it mad all right, hang with us, guys. All right, there we go. Now the family is pitching in to come in here and start farming everything up. All right, ooh, and we have enough for paper boats. What? What? We can get more paper boats? Oh, we could! Look at that! So you don't actually have to go ahead and get everything before you can start getting, like, repeats of these items. Good to know. But I'm pretty darn content with what we've managed to find, so... All right, there we go. We gathered up a bunch of tea, which is actually going to become food for the animals. And our biggest tea leaf yet, a record 365 pound tea leaf. That is pretty darn awesome. Lots and lots more paper balls, which we can turn into adorable little paper boats later. I need to gather up this rice right here. And let's see. Yeah, let Avatar gather up the rice. And then we need to come over and feed the animals a little bit. So we'll go down the list see who's hungry see if we have enough food oh need to pet the collie there we go oh and we have some friends visiting I see a couple people hanging out so it looks like we've got Mark hanging out over here and we've got Blake hanging out over here so we'll have to see if we can say hi to you guys so thank you so much for stopping by the farm helping to take care of all of our amazing animals all right and she's feeding everybody and our fertilizer bins are ready we better go harvest that oh and there's somebody down here too it's amber hello amber i actually would be very grateful if you could like speed grow that tree little cluster so let me see yeah we'll go ahead and accept the gift from amber there we go because i can see what she wants to do remember guys double check what your visiting farmhands are doing because if it's something where you could like fertilize a crop that they would fertilize then fertilize it because then they'll speed grow the crop instead and it's fantastic you don't have to accept someone as your farmhand as soon as they show up you can strategically see what they're about to do and figure out how to benefit your farm the best oh look at all the bunnies oh my gosh they were all eating in sync that was adorable that was adorable all right we're going ahead collecting everything all right phew all right we're almost done I need to take care of the prize cow shed and then let's not forget the horse stable if I can reach it I'm having trouble reaching the horse stable in the background here come on horse stable there we go there we go and gathering everything up and I hear the turtles making their weird little turtly noise there we go got those need to feed this turkey did I feed the horses yeah there's the horse stable stuff 
All those fine saddles coming out. Wonderful. Good. Well, now that we have taken care of all of the fields and we've taken care of all of the animals. Oh, oh, and we need to come down here really quickly and go to our little pickling area. And look, guys, we have another line of walls. So I am trying so hard to hurry and get to the point where we can get like another set of these walls because I freaking love them. There's only eight days left, so we'll have to see how quickly we can move. I'm gonna harvest up all this pickled sunshine, which is actually pickled corn! I have never had pickled corn, but I, I guess, I don't know, maybe I could see the appeal. I like corn salsa. Does that count? I, I think I like corn salad. I don't know if that means I would like pickled corn, but there we have it. All right. And Avatar gathered everything up wonderfully. The pickled corn is actually a fantastic bonus boost right now because for one hour of time, it'll give you four pickling points. So we're gonna go ahead, and not to mention corn's really easy to make. We're gonna go ahead and whip together a little bit of the pickled corn. In fact, we need to plant some more corn. All right, add some corn. Oh, it looks like she's adding feed. That's how we're adding the corn. We're just like pouring straight animal feed into, into the pickling jars, that's hilarious. All right, so we're gonna come down here. We're gonna tend to these little fields right here. There we go. Go, little avatar, go! You can do it. All right, and then we're gonna come back. Ooh, we just got a new badge. We've got three badges, actually, so we can check out those badges in a minute because I wanna look at our kitten. All right, are you guys ready for this? I think we can finally do it. After so many things, and after we, we adopt the kitten, we're gonna have to like sell all of the extra stuff we made during the kitten adoption race because I'm sure there's so much of it and we will actually earn money towards our next expansion that way. So five more packs of kitten yum yums to make. And then that should have us set. All right, heirloom pack of kitten yum yums. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, are you guys ready? I'm really nervous about this. I wonder if we'll actually have... <gasps> we completed the race! You're going to be a great cat owner. Are you ready to adopt a cat? Of course we are! We are so ready to adopt a kitten. Oh, we get to pick the kitten! I didn't even think about naming her! Oh my gosh, I want... The Calico? Or the Classic Tabby? Or, oh, but that one looks like my cat Thursday. Oh, I really love Thursday. Oh, I really love Calicos too, though. Ah, but I had a wonderful, like, I've had cats that match all of these. Ex I've never had a classic tabby, actually. Um, um, let me see. Um, oh, who to pick? Oh, this is the hardest thing ever. How the heck are you supposed to pick, like, which kitten you want? Okay, I think I want to go with i've always wanted the calico but i gotta admit this one right here he's appealing to me he really is so i think we're going to choose the little the little classic like orange tabby and i'm gonna name him uh should i name him after my real cat thursday i'm gonna go ahead and name him thursday this is thursday one of our real cats i choose you thursday you are my you are my companion i pick you there we go Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the whole town's coming out. Celebrating the fact, congratulations, Siri. You worked hard to finish the kitten adoption race. Thank you. Hi, little cutie patootie. Oh, and I've still got that giant bag of feed. Hi, Thursday. Aw, oh, your new kitten adores you. Thanks. Make sure you keep the cat crib on your farm so your kitten feels right at home. Oh, yay, we have a kitten, you guys. We're gonna place the little cat crib on our farm now. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put it way back here. It's gonna have to learn to live with the puppies. Wait, all right, way back here. And it's just gonna have to learn how to put up with all the puppies. So we've adopted our kitten. Feed your kitten bottles to help them grow. Watch them play and learn how to dig. The American short hair cat digs up speed grow for, from fertilized plots. Okay, so where is my kitten? It's over here. He needs lots and lots of bottles, you guys. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's so cute. We're gonna feed him these bottles. Oh my goodness. There we go. And we're gonna ask for a bunch of bottles. Hang on just a second. I'm gonna send out requests to all of our friends. 
Oh, he's so cute. And so he just needs like eight more baby bottles. I might be able to get those before it's time to uh, leave the farm for the day. So we have our little baby kitten. Look at him. He's so tiny. Oh, he's the cutest thing in the world. I'm so excited. All right. So kitten adoption race is finally done. That means we have completed one of the huge events on the farm, which is it's always difficult to keep up with all of those events. The other event is the puppy adoption race, which we are also a Approaching close to a finishing point with we are only a little under 200 points away from being able to adopt the Labrador puppy So this is going to be the new race that we throw ourselves wildly into um, Can we craft the little animal formula we can for the puppies? Yes, all right so this will be the one we throw ourselves just wildly into. We need to fertilize 30 white lilies now. Make two more crafted bead, like little bead doggy sweaters. All right, so let's see what's going on. One, oh, we can make this one, yay! Two here. And then three of these little carpets. I think we can make three zigzag carpets, no problem. All right, one, two, three. All right, making, making, oh, and using our farm hands, making progress, raising two baby pigs. Well, we can probably make progress on those. So hang on, little kitten. We already have two more bottles. Let's give you, let's give you a couple more little bottles. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And our friends are here. So who is this again? This is Blake, and he actually wants to help take care of a lot of our bunnies. I also need to harvest up all this corn so we can finish pickling our corn. Um, let's see. And Blake, what else do you want to do? Oh, and he wants to take care of one of our fields. So that is no problem. We can definitely work on that. All right. So what other events do we have going on right now? I need to figure out what we need to grow. Ooh, see, it's so busy. The co-op is in another week of trying to get enough favors. So we should probably check what the co-op needs to have grown. I have a feeling it's corn, actually, because we're still working on some burritos. Long story short, there's some veggie burritos that you can make, and I really want to try to um, complete that for some reason. So we've been growing cilantro for this order right here so that we can make some veggie burritos. <laughs> I've been growing cilantro and trying to grow corn. I don't know why. That's just like sometimes you keep an order that you know isn't going to make a lot of sense just because it's kind of fun. Now, these orders where I see something pepper related is needed can just get right on out of here. No, thank you. And then what's this one? So this one is Black Eye Susan Cookies. And so that's like flour cookies. Bob wants flour cookies, basically and soybeans so we might be able to pull that one off we've already completed our personal goal so that's going to make the next level of orders a little bit harder to complete like this one 83 crates of eggs wow diane i don't know diane that would use up my egg supply so because we might actually turn her down even if we could do that because that would just destroy my egg supply my poor chickens would be like totally taxed to try to complete that again all right let's see what's going on here sweet tea cupcakes um i think we're gonna go ahead and discard this one man there's not many that we can really you know what now i, I don't want to that's a lot of eggs like how many eggs is she gonna want from my chickens well i do have 914 eggs so how many eggs does he use up I don't know about that. I think it would use up way too many of my eggs, you guys. I think we're going to go ahead and discard this one. Sometimes you have to think about your resources. All right, and this is Chinese, um, stuffed Chinese bitter melons. Wow, corn is just like wanted all around. We'll keep that one because we might be able to pull that one off. And this one, black eye Susan cookies. I just, you know what? I guess we might as well keep that one just because we don't have many options. But we'll try to make the veggie burritos, I guess. That's what we're working on today. All right. Well, we know that actually we need to use two farm hands. So hang on a second. Let's come down here and we'll grow some cilantro for one farm hand to take care of. And oh, we have our kitten. I need to keep an eye out for baby bottles on the side because I'm playing on the Zanga official website. So you have a, like a thing to the right side that'll just list different rewards and activities that you can claim, like free baby bottles and water and paper balls. You know, all the things needed for quests will show up that way. So I'm keeping an eye on that. And then we'll do Black Eye Susans right here for those Black Eye Susan cookies. All right, and then come on down, little Lily. 
And Tate actually needs to learn some more skills, some more of the child skills. And I think that we will have him start... Oh, we only have two farmhands. <laughs> I think we will have him start learning the child skills after we adopt the Labrador puppy. And let's invite all of our friends. Come on over, friends, all 603 of you guys. Come on down to be our farmhands. Thank you so much, you guys, for coming on over. We're going to harvest up the cilantro and the black eye Susans. Whoop, sorry about that. Man, so many hiccups today. Sorry about that, guys. But the good news is we have our kitten. All right, let's check out if we can make those freaking burritos. Oh, look at that. It looks like Molly is in the lead with 19 orders. Danielle is in third. In fact, we can view the whole co-op progress going on here. Isaiah is in second. He is right behind Molly. They are going neck and neck for first place with Danielle right behind them. I'm trailing a, a like far away fourth place. Then Tristan, Carter, Blake, Nicoletta, and Naomi are really hauling bunny hunkers too. Oh, anybody else? Nope. So those are the members of our amazing co-op who have been really pulling in their orders this month. So thank you so much, you guys. And yeah, look at that. We need 336 corn. Isn't that just ridiculous? Then we also need to start growing more wheat and soybeans for this. We'll probably, I don't know if we'll keep this this particular order. Sometimes you just have to cancel a whole bunch before uh, like the really hard or silly ones will just go away. So we'll keep an eye on that. But let's go ahead and grow some corn then. So like weirdly enough, we need corn for pickling. We need corn for filling the orders. So it's gonna be kind of like a corn growing day. It feels sort of like returning back to original sort of farmy stuff. Because when you think of farms, I don't know about you guys. Maybe it's because I grew up in the Midwest. But I think about corn. So there we go. We're going to be growing some corn. Going to grow some corn over here to you. Um, corn is not... It doesn't take a lot of time to grow. But it is very expensive in terms of water. Because it uses up so much water. And so what we're going to do is only grow it in our fields that we have upgraded. So our highest upgraded fields. And actually, speaking of which, I'm trying to figure out what upgrade to do next. I can't decide if I want to do the power upgrade. Kitten, do we have enough? Do we have enough? <gasps> we have enough bottles, you guys. We have enough bottles for the kitten. Okay, okay, okay. Let's come over and give Thursday the rest of his baby bottles. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, here we go. Thursday, there you go, little guy. Meow, he says. Your kitten has grown up. Fertilize field and plots. Your cat could dig up speed grow from fertilized fields and plots. Every plot and field has a chance of yielding speed grow. Share the news. Thursday. Thursday, hi. Here, there's some fertilized plots. Do you want to? Oh my gosh, we have a cat roaming on the, on the farm. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at him go. He's got his little schmoosh face. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, Thursday. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. Our kitten has grown up. This is very, very exciting. Um, but yeah, I can't decide quite what to do with the favors that we're earning. For sure, I definitely want to try to expand back here. Oh, and actually, prove your rising crafting skills. Uh, we only need five more of these breads. So let me see if I can pull that off really quickly. Let's go home and then come over and heirloom. One, two, three, four, five. You guys, there we go. Now we just need seven million coins and we can expand to this section of the farm. Oh my gosh. Well, progress is definitely being made. And there's some corn. Let's see how much corn we can get from these fields real quick. So yeah, um, like I mentioned, Tate does need to learn a new skill. He is at a phase where he does need to learn um, like new, new jobs that the kids can learn. But I'm going to wait till the puppy is done being trained because the jobs are timed and they use a lot of resources. So with the co-op running and like the pickling things to do, we should go ahead and plant even more corn. We just constantly need to be working on corn right now. Oh, the cat and the dog are meeting. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Whoops. I hope I didn't put any corn down there. There we go. All right. Some here and some there. Watch out, Thursday. You're going to get you're going to get like sprinklered. All right. There we go. And we'll see. Oh, we have a turtle. A stray turtle over here. Here you go, little guy. Put your back over here. All right. So, how much corn do we have? Oh, wait. What's Thursday? Is he digging something up? 
There's he just dug a speed grow up, you guys. That is so exciting and holy days. Did Molly just like finish a couple orders? It's a Zaya! Zaya just pulled ahead! Wow, we saw that happen with 21 orders. I am so envious. Alright, so yeah, we're far behind on corn. It's gonna take a while to get enough corn, but it's a fun challenge. <gasps> Look, Thursday found another speed grow! Good job, Thursday! I'm so proud of you! He's over here working on speed grow gathering. Oh, that's gonna be so useful for the future, you guys. I love it. Alright, so let's see. Uh, oh yeah, and the gem gathering. So let's come over. There's only about a little over a day left in gem gathering. And so far we've gotten one sheep. It's been more fun looking for the gems than getting the sheep, to be honest. We have a great sheep, don't get me wrong. But, there we go. <gasps> we just got a second sheep! Yay! What a great day! We're just having so much luck today. And there's Nutmeg, just laying down. I guess we're gonna have to think ahead of time for a name for the little Labrador puppy, because it really surprised me. I was like, oh yeah, I have to name the cat. All right. Look at the beautiful jewelry I prepared, Siri. Wow, Barbara. It was all thanks to the gemstones you got for me. No problemo. As a special thanks, this baby sheep is all yours. Yay! So exciting! Baby sheep. Baby sheep sheep. Oh yeah. Baby sheep. Oh yeah. So cute. All right. Come here, little one. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the little baby sheep over here. And they do give white wool, which is very good. <laughs> because the other color wool, like, just doesn't work. Alright, so let's see. Back to collecting up the corn, because growing corn is kind of what we're working on right now. And let's see, so the gems are good. The paper balls, we might have enough paper balls for that tree so we can try to get the pheasant. All right, look at all this. Look at those giant ears of corn. We grow corn like no one else can. And then we need to plant some more. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And we're almost out of water. So this will probably be the last harvest of corn for a little while. Kind of funny that like of all the basic crops we need to grow, we need to grow tons of corn. Corn is one of those things you can grow tons and tons and tons of when you have uh, one of those days where you get infinite water. Totally worth it. All right, there we go. Good, all right. So let's see, partying going on, family's going well. We need to get the puppy. So, all right, I need to get corn. The co-op is doing absolutely amazing. Oh, <sighs> all right. I think we're actually starting to catch up with things, guys. So let's see if there's anything else we can do for the puppy. Oh, look at that gather. Uh, we just needed 10 more water. That's hilarious. All right, we can fertilize some white lilies. Um, we could probably craft, can we craft nine jumping ropes? Let's check it out. Let's see if we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh, we were just one short, really? No, somebody wants to feed our bunnies. All right, who was it who wanted to feed our bunnies again? I believe it was our good friend Blake here who wants to feed our bunnies. And he also wants to take care of the crops here. So let's go ahead and have him do some Black Eye Susans with the last five water that we have. And fertilize, there we go. And because we watered and fertilized the plants, when he comes over now, he's going to speed grow them. All right, so he's excited because he's going to be able to start doing his work over here. There you go, my good friend. And we're going to go ahead. Now, did we need to raise like a, oops, no, that's a cat's crib. Did Thursday raise two baby pigs, 12 points. So we might need to do that soon. All right, so there's a little bit of wool. We're going to get a little bit more wool right here. And should we go ahead? I'm gonna go ahead and actually super feed a few of our bunnies. Ooh, and our fertilizer bin's ready. So we're gonna gather that up. Oh, and look at this. There we go. There we go. I feel like we're finally catching up with everything. Sometimes there's so many quests you can feel totally overwhelmed, but we're, we're doing okay now. All right. And we'll gather all this up, gather all this up. Our cat is roaming the fields. Oh, hey, Thursday, there he is. Uncovered him in the corn there. And let's see, so can we get the tree? 
We are very close to being able to get the Buckeye tree, but not quite there. Just need 15 more paper balls, which I'm sure we'll get it sometime soon. Uh, let's come over here. And how are we doing on the corn? Doing pretty good. Almost halfway there. A little over halfway there on how much corn we need for those vegetable burritos. Um, doing good collecting up some of the other things for the other orders. So I'll keep an eye on these set of orders. They're kind of a little bit more interesting than usual. Um, a little tougher than usual too. And I think, let's see, puppy. Go ahead and make one more. One more jump rope for the puppy. And let's see, doggy chew toys. Let's see if we can make a few of those. So three little heirloom doggy chew toys. One, oh no, we're out of onions. <laughs> so we need more onions. And fertilize white lilies. So we need to fertilize a few more white lilies. I guess we could do that. Let's come over here and we'll just make this whole area white lilies for a while. There we go. Let's see if that'll be enough and we can save the field for something. But yeah, so what do you guys think we should work on expanding? Because for the upgrades, we can do everything from like a bigger animal barn, which we just did upgrade to more water. We could do, um, I really want to get a whole bunch of upgraded fields, but that's kind of like a really long term plan because we always could use more upgraded fields. You know what I mean? Because I think we can have, we can have up to up upgrade number four. I think we could have, yeah, we could have up to upgrade number five. We have upgrade number three right now, so we get three bonus crops. Um, if we had upgrade number four, we'd have four bonus crops. Upgrade five is basically like literally doubling the crops. And then if you added fertilizer, you'd get like three times as many crops. So that would be useful. So we could do that. And they're not that expensive in terms of favors either to have a bunch of the fields, at least upgraded. They're kind of expensive when you first get one. All right, let's go ahead and fertilize all these lilies. Hopefully that'll make the puppies happy. Why they need water lilies, I don't know. I'm pretty sure puppies aren't supposed to eat lilies. <laughs> all right, so Darling's gonna take care of that. I'm actually gonna have one of the kidlets come down over here. Tate, let's have you come down while we're waiting and gather up some mushrooms. Dun 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 dun, the task is complete. View adoption. And now we need to craft 10 ice creams, which is going to use up a lot. A lot, a lot of our sugar. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we need to send out a request to our friends for more sugar so we can make four more ice creams. And we're getting there slow but steady. We are definitely getting there with the Labrador too. So we have a cat on the farm finally, you guys, which is very exciting. Tate has just gathered up a whole bunch of awesome king oyster mushrooms. So that's really fun. Holy days, like I said, it was kind of amazing to see Isaiah just zoom ahead to first place in our co-op. So thank you so much for your hard work, other co-op members. I appreciate it so much. We'll have to see if I can get some easier co-op requests to fill in the next few days. And I will see you guys next time. So yeah, oh, ooh, actually, there is one more thing I wanna do. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna have a little flea sale again. We're, we're gonna dig into the goods that we have hiding back here, and we're going to sell a few things, like the heirloom walnut date bread, I think we can actually sell, now that we have actually crafted a whole bunch of it, and the heirloom pecan catfish, and all of this macaroni and cheese. Oh my gosh, and the sun -fried, stir fried sun catfish, um, and then the walnut date bread back here and then actually the peach pearl necklaces I'll hold on to but the heirloom bubble maker can go the watercress potato salad we can sell too let's see anything else the arrowheads can be sold uh, the pasta with mushrooms can be sold the heirloom dog shampoo can be sold the heirloom cup and ball toy it can go let's see like these little kitten rubber toys the heirloom blue gloves the broken pottery, the tea, <laughs> you know, all of these things, the plain soap. Oh my gosh, we've already got 2 million coins. Just all of the things that we had to make when we were doing all of those quests. Let's see, the little ducky can go. 
the mirrors can go because I know these things never show up really when it comes to the co-op quest. Now sometimes the good fortune charms do show up so I'll leave those and we'll sell these. Let's see, and the burlap stuff, stuff never never shows up. Now, all of the tea stuff can definitely go because that's never going to show up as a co-op thing. So we can go ahead and sort through all of our pickled onions. We're having a sale, a farm market sale on the pickled onions. And animal crackers, the duck whistles we probably had since forever. Oh my goodness. All right, there's a bunch of bubble tea. We can sell that. The spicy tomato pickles. Uh, all of these little little horse toys can go. All of these little kitten name tags can go. Oh, it feels so good. We're, we're having like this mass sale of just everything. Red tulip banquets, the blue, like those can go. These can go. The heavy fur throw. Uh, the cow warmers can go. Wow, that's reaching back in time. All right. The Australian blue squash stew can go. All right, and then we've got a whole bunch of tiramisus, which can go too, so we'll sell those as well. We're way overdue on selling some of this stuff. We can definitely sell some of these rope baskets. As you see, we've had to make a lot of rope baskets. In fact, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of rope baskets for the puppy and kitten quest. Same thing with the fur pillows. So they can just head out too. Uh, same thing with the woven baskets. All right, let's see. Burlap sacks, off you go. Uh, two con roasted bath asparagus can go. Grilled fingerling potatoes, red teddy bears. I'll sell all of those, why not? Um, the blue marbles too. Geez, now we're up to three million coins, you guys. I am feeling like kind of rich right now. We've got the heirloom toothy treats, the packs of kitty yum yums. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, pink pig toys. Oh, here's the strawberry tea. Oh, wow, that's from the tea. That was a whole different event that was like ages and ages ago. Jeez Louise. Uh, feather dusters, sometimes we get requests for feather dusters. So I'll, I'll go ahead and keep those. The heirloom dog fetching sticks, though, we don't get requests for. Or the tea cozies, or the butterfly charms, or the Highland cow toys, even though they're adorable. Um, let's see, heirloom peach tea, a whole bunch of leather pouches, rubber ball toys, warm sweetened milk. Wow, we're really digging through like a ton of the old stuff. All right, so we'll probably have an even deeper heirloom pickled eggs can definitely go. I, I'm okay without having pickled eggs in the house. I really, really am. We're probably gonna have to dig deeper another day to continue cleaning out just like an all the citrus tea. Oh my goodness. Man, we're like one of those, one of those shows, those like picker shows where floral infusion tea, where you like dig into your ancestor's yard, baby animal medicine, and you find like all of this random stuff that's actually kind of worth a bit of money. Let's see, watering cans. See what I mean? We've got like, and here's the heirloom frisky fig tre like treats. Oh my gosh. And here's the heirloom lemon tea and some blankets, horse blankets. Oh goodness. All right, this is the last of it. We're going to sell the heirloom citrus chutney. All of these healthy kitty cakes. <laughs> We're gonna have so much money. The bowls of kitten crackers. Um, the baby animal treats. Uh, actually, I think I need to save those. All right, basket of kitty treats. And we're just we're just gonna stop here for now, and we will continue selling things another day, cause that is almost four million coins. <laughs> That's clearing out like ancient things that we've had for what feels like probably over a year in some cases. And actually guys, I think next time we will be able to come in, we will get up to 7 million coins and we'll be able to expand the little tiny farmhouse, which is so exciting. I can't wait. So thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, it is so much fun to share this entire experience of being able to just like visit each other's farms, have you guys visit our farm, watch as our little farm family grows, and just the fun of taking taking on the various quests and challenges. I really love those kinds of variety quests and challenges that we get to do. So I will see you guys next time. It looks like I'm gonna be needing some more chickens pretty soon. Most of ours have become prized. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time and when we will continue working on trying to fill our co-op orders and getting our puppy and doing so many other fun things. So I'll see you guys then, Bye bye